What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness. So, welcome to the channel if you're new. Uh, you know, like the video, subscribe, you know, along the way, uh, right? If you like the content, of course, uh, helps me to grow. And of course, click on the notification bell. So, hey, in this video, I'm, uh, I'm making a video for one of the subscribers who, uh, who, who made a suggestion. Sorry, it's like a fly there. And suggested that, uh, so this subscriber, Doc, this is for you. <laughs> yeah, he's been on the channel for like the longest time, you know, since the beginning, really. So it's been about a year and a half now that uh, that I started my YouTube channel, but you know it was it was I wasn't consistent at all, you know. And uh, but now I'm, you know, I'm I'm decided, committed, right? So, anyways, um, okay. So the suggestion was make a video on how would you fight a judoka, you know, in a in a in a self defense scenario, in a in a street fight, so to speak, right? Well, in my opinion, right now we're gonna have to put a few assumptions in place, right? Let's say the person you're fighting is a judoka, right? And let's assume that, cause there's so many variables, right? But let's assume that's all he ever did, right? He, he's just a judo guy, like highlight, like black belt, all right? Uh, competed and all that. Well, and he's never done anything else, never done any striking, right? And um, so first off, Chances are, well, no, I was going to say like, no, ju judokas usually don't fight on the street. And I think that's true because, you know, uh, most martial artists who are at a certain level or who are high level and could really handle themselves in their respective art, right? Like they, they don't fight, man. They don't feel the need to and they tend to avoid, you know, they're busy training all the time. And uh, especially in judo, like you develop, uh, you know, you're, you have these, uh, these values and all that ingrained in you. But let's say, for example, Let's just say for argument's sake, right? Okay, you get into a fight and you know the guy's a judoka, you know, and for some reason he's kind of wild and like whatever, you know, uh, he, he, he wants to fight and you want to fight and you guys want to go at it, right? Well, if he's done nothing else, right, then the key is really to keep your distance. Like you can't clinch up, right? Because if you clinch up, you're getting thrown and, and that'll pretty much be the end of it, right? So... You definitely have to keep your distance. So I would suggest um, leg kicks, leg kicks. And let's say you were a striker. Let's say I'm a striker and the guy in front of me is a judoka, right? I'm a pure striker, you know, uh, and the person in front of me is a judoka. Well, here's the thing. Punching could be, punching is good, leg kicking is better, right? In my opinion, I would start off with probably a leg kick. That way I kind of like, um, not immobilize them, but work on his legs, hurt his legs so that, you know, like it, it keeps him, um, it limits his, uh, his mobility, so to speak, so that he can't just rush in and, and, and grab me. Because if a judoka grabs you, right? Oh boy, that's pretty much uh, the end because he's going to throw you, right? So now that throw could be uh, incapacitating, right? Because if you fall hard on your head or you fall and, you know, not necessarily on your head, but on your shoulder, on your, like, you're going to break something. Uh, most likely, right? Uh, if, especially if he's doing a front throw, uh, like Ipon Seo Nagi or something like that, or uh, or he doesn't, uh, you know, so you can land really hard and hurt yourself there. Or if you get a no soto, then you're pretty much concussed and, you know, maybe dead <laughs> or hospitalized. So you de and their gripping strength is like they have really strong cores, like really strong cores and really strong grips. So if you clinch up with them, if you let them grab you and they, they no, not from a distance, because if they, if they grab you from a distance like that, you can still punch them, right? But if they're, if they close, if you close, if you guys close, if they close or you close, make the mistake of closing the distance, if I make the mistake of closing a distance, and let's say I'm not a judoka at all, the guy's going to throw me, right? Uh, definitely. And of course, if he's able to close the distance, then he's going to throw, you know, like he's going to throw me, right? So... In both cases, it's bad. Whether he's able to do it or I make the mistake of, you know, like moving in too close and getting clinched up, then, I'll, you know, that's that's pretty much uh, going to be uh, very complicated, right? Now, not to say that it's the complete end if you get thrown. You can always get back up and fight, you know, but I mean, um, definitely leg kick to leg kicks to start to, um, to shut down his mobility, ideally, right? 
because judokas really don't know how to deal with leg kicks. Hell, they have a hard time like, if that's all they do, right? And of course, punching, like uh, that's a good thing too. If you have a long reach, uh, you jab them in the face, you punch them, I mean, that could keep them at bay too, right? But uh, a combination of punching and kicking, and, and then after that, you would have to keep them at a distance. So I would suggest definitely, let me just, oh, it's already five minutes in. Okay, I would definitely keep my distance. And now, that being said, keep my distance, you know, uh, footwork. Footwork is how, you know, footwork and, and of course jab and kicking and all that. But definitely punch and kick, punch and kick, move around, punch and kick, circle them, punch and kick. And then, uh, and hopefully, uh, I, I'm, we're just assuming in, in this scenario that you're a very good striker and, he, and the judoka is a very good judoka, right? So, and of course you, you have uh, a little bit of open space. You're not like cramped in, uh, in, the, in a very small space where he could, like in an elevator, because then, well, he'll, he'll grab you, you know, and then, well, he might not be able, to, yeah, he'll take you down, he'll take you down, he'll find a way, you know? So that's what I would do, right? If I was a pure striker and I have in front of me a judoka and I actually knew he was a judoka, right? And I know that he's high level, I would stay far from that guy, man. You know, I would, uh, I would kick his legs, I wouldn't kick too high, uh, unless I was confident that you know it would land or I set it up properly, but definitely I would kick and punch, kick, kick, punch, move, kick, punch, move, kick, punch, move, and then just try to end it that way, right? Uh, that would, in my opinion, be like the ideal way, right, to uh, to fight a judoka. Because if you clinch, like uh, eh, you know, and and you know, I'll tell you guys the truth. Like I'm a judoka. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, right? Uh, I've been doing this for maybe about four. Like I kind of mess, I'm, I'm not sure. It's either four or five years, something like that. You know, like when I look at Facebook memories, right? Sometimes it's like, I'm like, hey, wait a second. That was like three years ago, four years. Okay, so that means, but in my head it's five, but it's, it's probably not five. It's like four years, right? Something like that, four, maybe four and a half now. Um, so where was I going with this? Yeah, so I'm a black, uh, brown belt, sorry, in, in judo. And I've been doing judo for about four years, four or five years. Uh, prior to that, I did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for about six, uh, and I've done martial arts my whole life, like, you know, since I was a, a teenager. Uh, started at the age of 13, did a whole bunch of stuff, blah, 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 blah. But at this point in my life, this is my, uh, this is really what I, I love doing, right? Grappling. Uh, of course, I, I, I love martial arts in general, but let's say me, myself, okay? <laughs> I get into a scuffle, and it's another judo guy, right? Now, and I know he's good. And and I know like this guy, this guy could judo. I could judo too, but I would stay away from him anyway. I, I, <laughs> I wouldn't, uh, I, would, uh, I, I, would, I would do exactly what I said, which is um, kicking and punching and stuff like that. And until I really managed to, let's say, ring his bell, right? Or at least daze him, you know, rock him a little bit before I actually, and if we do end up in a clinch, then, uh, then, then I'll, 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 of course, I'll try to throw him, right? But you have to daze him first, man. Like in my, in, in my situation, like if I was fighting another judo guy, let's say I got into a scuffle with another dude from another school in a bar, uh, outside of a bar and their space and stuff like that, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't try to ju like judo against judo. No, of course not. I would, you know, I would punch him and kick him, right? I'd punch him and kick him. And if I managed to rock him and to hurt him, Right then, I would and if we end up in a clinch, because I would try to still avoid the clinch as much as possible, right? Then definitely, um, and of course, if and then finish it off that way. Of course, if I if I see the opportunity where I was actually able to uh, to slow him down, slow his movement down by you know like striking the legs a lot, and then if I jabbed him enough and you know got him all. Um, uh, confused and all that, rocked him a little bit, then of course, and we ended up clinching, then of course I would end up trying to throw him, right? That's normal, because, you know, that's that's uh, that's what I do. I throw people. <laughs> Not in the streets, <laughs> in competition. <laughs> okay, so that's what I would do, man. And uh, that's the thing too, right? Because you just have to, but that's the thing with street fighting. You never know who you're falling onto. Like, unless you know, okay, that's a different story. But let's say you just, you know, uh, get into an argument with some dude. I mean, you don't know his background, man. You know, you don't know if this guy, like, who knows who you're going to fall onto, right? So that's why I don't promote fighting in the streets at all, at all. You know, like, if possible, avoid it, right? And um, <clears throat> so that's it. But that being said, <clears throat> right? If the guy is just like, 
if the guy only does judo and stuff like that, and that's all he does, he's never done any striking, then it's like anybody else. If you don't know how to strike, you don't know how to strike. And judo guys, they, they you know, like their, their chin is up in the air and stuff like that. And they're coming in like this and they're just trying to grab and stuff like that. So, I mean, you can knock the hell out of that guy easy, right? If somebody doesn't have any striking skills and doesn't understand striking and, and they, they've never been exposed to it, they've never trained in it, then of course you're going to have the same reflexes as, you know, any other average Joe in terms of striking. You know, of course, if you grapple, if you clinch up and you, you grapple with them, you're going for a ride. But other than that, I mean, you just keep your distance and you uh, you, you knock them out, right? <laughs> because you know these ha like these are habits, man. Like you know, like boxing and stuff like that. You have to have training in boxing to understand uh, that you know. Well, hey, you gotta keep your hands up, your chin down. You know, movement and stuff like that, and blocking and not flinching when you're getting punched. You know. So if a judoka is high level judoka, but he zero in the striking arena, never never trained, never done anything. Then man, you you could and then you're a good boxer. Like if you keep your match, keep your distance, you'll knock them the hell out, right? That's why I believe that if you're if you want to uh, to 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 learn self defense, you have to um, master not master, but you have to be at a functional level in every um, every aspect of fighting, right? So different aspects. So there's uh, there's the striking. Okay, striking aspect of it. Then after that, there's the, uh, uh, the the ground game, of course. And then after that, there's the whole throwing uh, aspect of it all. The takedown game, right? So striking, takedown, and then ground game. So those are that's how I separate it. And once you uh, once you have a functional, you know, and solid foundation in all those three, right? Then you know, self defense afterwards. Uh, you can pretty much defend yourself and that's when I think that then you could add in some stuff, right? You could add in, uh, for example, Krav Maga, you could add in some uh, combatives, you know, when I mean combative, I mean stuff like Krav Maga where they're like, ah, they're killing people, you know, like ripping out eyeballs and, and throat punching people and stuff like that. But I find that the opposite isn't necessarily um, as, as, a, as effective, right? Because if you learn um, all the violent stuff first, right, all the combatives first, like, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll able, you'll uh, you'll be uh, able to handle yourself, unless of course, once again, if you're like a military uh, person, right, and you uh, that's all you do, you train to kill people all day long, and of course, then your reflex is gonna be like phew, top notch because you've been doing it for years, right? But just for in general, uh, for general population where you're not in a, a military guy going about like secret missions to assassinate people. Right, then I think that it's better to cover your bases. You know, mixed martial arts is really good, you know, for that. So if you go join a mixed martial arts school, you get all of those things, you know, you get the striking, you get the takedowns, you know, and you get the ground game, right? Because those are the main things for, for MMA. Of course, different disciplines for, for striking, different disciplines for takedowns, and I mean, different arts, different arts for striking, different arts for takedown, and different, uh, well, mainly jujitsu, right, for, for the ground. But that's what I mean, right? So when, once you have those bases covered, uh, then after that you go on and you, uh, you add all the other stuff. And it'll make you, you'll, you'll pick up the other stuff, the combative stuff, the Krav Maga and, and all the, uh, the self-defense stuff, I think, and stick fighting and gun fighting. You'll be even so much better at that because you'll pick it up so fast because you understand how to move your body, you understand position, you understand balance, you understand distance, you know? So it makes you even, you pick that up it makes you even better at combatives if you add that on afterwards whereas the opposite isn't necessarily true right so that being said guys don't fight in the street uh it's not a good thing uh but i definitely feel that um it's important to know how to defend yourself right because hey we live in a world where you know uh sometimes you have to unfortunately right and uh and, and it's part in, in my opinion it's part of being a man like you have to know how to you have to be able to handle yourself Okay, so that's that, right? And um, where was I going with this? So just to summarize, if you're fighting a judo guy who doesn't know how to strike, or even if you know, okay, yeah. If you're fighting a judo guy, ideally, you wanna keep your distance, avoid the clinch, you know, and really punch, tear, claw, like really to keep the distance. If he's coming close and he's starting to grab you, you gotta get out of there, man. You gotta move, you gotta duck, you gotta punch, you gotta do kick, whatever you have to do to 
keep that distance and then hammer away at the legs and of course the punches on the on, on you know the jaw here and uh, on the face and all that and that's your best bet right so that's it for this video guys I hope I uh, uh, hope that was that was insightful or fun or whatever so like the video if you liked it of course and subscribe and uh, share share the video click on the notification bell and all that I'll see you guys in the next one peace